In this video, we'll be coding optimization test functions in MATLAB. These test functions are designed to test the robustness of an optimization algorithm and the overall performance to converge onto a global solution. If you are unfamiliar with optimization, there is literature available in the description of this video. We'll be coding up the ACLI function, the BL function, and the cross in tray function. Now these functions are described mathematically by a singular equation that has two inputs and they have a global solution that are located at some function of x and some function of y between some bounds in x and y. So for the cross and tray function we actually have four global solutions but for the uh, Beal function we only have one and for the Ackley function we also only have one. So let's jump right into the code. So I was going to edit and create an optimization function script. And this function is going to have two outputs. It's going to have a Z value and a minimum value, which will be our target. And it will have four inputs, the X, Y, which is the query points. We're going to have the actual function and then a mode of operation. So as opposed to just hard coding the mathematics, we're going to have them as separate functions. So we're going to have function of Beal, where it's the x and y, and in this function we'll return z and the minimum value again. Now to save me completely butchering this mathematics, I'm going to just copy the function and the minimum value. And as you can see, it's just a single z value, which is represented by this formula here. And the minimum value is, is a value of zero, so that's pretty straightforward. We're going to do the same for the Ackley function. And then the same for the cross in tray function. So, so what can we actually do with this now? So we're going to use we're going to use the input of our function to be defined as a string. So we'll say that the optimizer is equal to the string to the function of the function. So if you are unfamiliar with this syntax, all this is saying is, is that if we say a string to a function of Beal, we will return a function handle that corresponds to this function called Beal. Now we're going to have a few modes of operation in this as well. We're going to want to plot the surface topology. We're going to want to plot a contour of the topology space. And we're going to want to just query. So what I mean by query is we will say, we will say that Z and minimum value is equal to the optimizer we've just defined above. And we'll say X and Y. And what this lets us do is we can now say optimization function and we know that the Beal function is located at 3 0 0.5 the function is Beal and the mode we can just leave empty for now and it returns our answer of 0. We could do the same thing if we look at let's say 1.2 we get an answer corresponding to 5.1 and this is all based on that surface topology so what we will now say is if the mode is equal to optimizer, we will query in the exact same way we just did before. Else, we're going to want to plot the surface topology or the contour. So to do this, we're going to need to plot the entire search space. So we're going to create a new function called optimizer ranges. And this optimizer ranges function is going to return an X and a Y array where the input just correlates to a to the function handle. And we're going to just hard code this. We're going to say if the function is equal to Beal. So let's just have a quick look at the Beal function then. What have we got here? So the Beal function has limits between four, negative 4.5 and 4.5. So we want to say if Beal, x1 is equal to negative. In fact, we'll just say x 
is equal to negative 4.5, 4.5, and y is equal to negative 4.5, 4.5. Else, if the function is equal to the Ackley function, let's have a quick look at the Ackley function, it's negative 5 to 5, so x is equal to negative 5 to 5, and y is equal to negative 5 to 5. Else, if the function is equal to cross tray, negative 10 to 10. So x is equal to negative 10 to 10, and y is equal to negative 10 to 10. Then we end our function. So, so jumping back to our optimization function, I'll just leave this on the side here. We can now start querying that x range and y range values by saying optimizer ranges and it's of function. We can then define our surface plots by saying x is equal to, we'll say the, the lin space of x range 1, y range, uh, sorry, x range 1 and x range 2 spell and we'll have 101 data points and we'll do the exact same thing for the y vector but it will be of y range 1 y range 2 so now we've defined these two vectors of x and y we can iterate over each of the arrays and for each value within the array, we can query our optimizer function and return the z value, populating the z value as an array as we go along. So we'll say 4j is equal to 1 to the length of x, and 4i is equal to 1 to the length of y. We will say that zji is equal to optimizer of xj and yi and what we will get returned to us now is a populated z array which will be two dimensional corresponding to all of the fitness values of this optimization function between the limits of x range and y range we can now define our mode so if we'll, well sorry we'll define our figure first we'll say figure one we'll clear the axis and we'll set the x label to be y and the y label to be x. Now you may be confused by this. It is just the way the surface plots work. I need to invert the arrays to make sure that the surfaces are correct. Otherwise I have to reshape the z matrix. So it's easy to just you know invert the axes. And we'll say if the mode is equal to surf, we'll say surf y, x, z and set the z label to the fitness. Else, if the mode is equal to contour, we will contour y, x, and z, and we won't even set a label for that one, so we just end. And what we should now be able to do is say, optimize Asian function, now we don't need to define a query point because we're going to plot the surf topology and we'll say for the Beal function, we'll do a surf. And as you can see, we now have the surface plot of the Beal function. Simple as that. We can do the same thing for the Ackley function, like so. And the same thing for the cross tray function. Likewise, a set of contour plots can also be applied to all of the surfaces. Uh, apologies, <laughs> that should have remained contour, and that one should have been actually. There we go. And what this enables us to do is it enables us to look visualize the surface topology and it enables us to plot the contours of that surface topology and also query each of the individual points so we can start 
applying this same function to our optimization algorithm. Now, the beauty of the way we've coded it is that we can actually add a additional function. So let's look back at the, to the Levi function. So the Levi function here goes between negative 10 and 10, and it's got a, fun a global minimum at x1, y1. So if I just grab the, if I just grab the mathematics for the Levi function, just so again, I don't actually butcher the, I don't actually butcher the mathematics. We've already established that the Levi function has its range at negative 10 to 10. So it's the same as the cross trade function. So we can actually just say, or if the function is equal to Levi, do this. And now we can query once again, and we've got the Levi function. And if we look at the surface of the Levi function, there we have it. So what you can do is you can use this script, add as many optimization functions as you require. And what we will start to do in the next, in the next video is we will start applying our first optimization algorithm. So we can locate the, we can locate the global minimum of one of these topological search spaces. Because although although currently we, we know the global minimum of this solution, we know that it, it, it presides at 1, 1 based on the topology, you may not be able to visualize your, your, top, your topological search space for many of your applications. It may be of a higher dimension or you may not actually know what it looks like. It could be completely unknown. So this is the reason we test optimization functions on pre-known surfaces so we can apply a general fitness.